What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're gonna be checking out the top five gaming mice of 2021, showing you some of the best and top sellers that came out this year. With Black Friday, Cyber Monday coming up, hopefully you guys can save some money as well. They'll all be listed for you in the description down below. And also, if you wanna build your holiday wish list, hopefully this video helps you out. Now we got some honorable mentions, so don't tune out after the top five. So we got a bunch to go over today, sit tight. First up at number five is honestly a mouse I am in love with. It deserves way more recognition. That's the new Pulsar X-Lite Wireless. I've called it Pulsar Elite, it's Pulsar X-Lite. I just got these in over the last few weeks and I am super impressed. I love almost everything about it. Now this is a medium to larger size ergonomic mouse. So that's the main reason why I have it here at number five. I know a smaller ambient mouse is the more popular option. It's all the craze nowadays. So you will need to have a preference for these uh, sort of ergo mice out there. I'm personally just a big fan of it. And even though it is on the larger side, it comes in at only 59 grams, which is crazy. You do have those large cutouts to the shell and on the bottom, it's pretty much like completely hollowed out. But personally, I think it looks pretty cool. Inside, they're using a 20K DPI sensor with the PAW3370. You have a 1000 Hertz pulling rate at one millisecond response time over their wireless 2.4 gigahertz connection. And I've had no issues with connectivity. It also uses their Kale 8.0 switches that are nice and crisp. And all around, it just feels amazing to use. Now, the main reason I'm so in love with this as a lightweight ergo mouse is because the feet on the bottom are their Super Glide glass skates. And I mean it when I say this, this is by far the smoothest, most quiet, buttery feeling mouse I've ever experienced. I don't know what they did with these Super Glide glass skates, but it is magic, people, magic. They come in both black and white options. You get grips inside of the box as well, just for $75, which I think is a fantastic price point for a really awesome mouse. Now, one thing I will mention is I've currently only seen these new X-Lite wireless mice with the stock uh, PTFE feet. So I assume these Hyperglide feet are gonna be sold, or Super Glide feet are gonna be sold either separately or very, very soon as, you know, on the mouse, because I got this inside the box. This is a retail unit. So definitely keep an eye on it. Like I said, these Super Glide feet with this shape and size and weight, it's insane. 75 bucks. Now, Number four spot, we're gonna toss it to BT. What's up guys, it's BT here. Shout out to Random Frank P for having me on here to present you guys the number four mouse on the list, the Ponich Sim 2. Now this ambidextrous mouse is best known for its modularity, allowing you to change the color, the weight, depending on if you use the honeycomb shell or the solid shell, you can also remove the battery to lower the weight and make it wired. There's even button spacers to change the clicking distance, whether you like it crispy and tactile or light and soft, there's something for everybody. This is definitely a mouse that you get if you're looking to play around with different configurations of a mouse. People always say shape is king and I have to agree with them on that, especially when it comes to the Sim 2. This carries one of the best shapes on the market currently. The hump in the middle is placed perfectly in the side grooves help you to never lose grip of this mouse. Let's just say you're definitely prone to get that Cinderella effect with this mouse. It has good battery life at 80 hours on the gaming mode and 180 hours if you wanna switch over to that office mode for when you're just chilling. And did I mention this has the best switches on the market, the Kale 8.0 switches with the adjustable debouncing to zero milliseconds for improved latency and performance. The 3370 sensor that they put in here is super precise and super reliable. Let's just say if you're gonna miss a shot, it's not gonna be because of this mouse, it's probably because you just can't aim. If you couldn't tell already, this is a very unique mouse with a very unique set of features. It's easy to see why the Ponus Sim 2 made this list. All right, that's gonna do it for my time. Once again, my name is BT. Shout out to the homie Frank P. That kind of rhymed. So shout out to BT, he nailed it in his review. If you wanna go check it out on his channel, definitely do, it's got some great stuff. But I really think what Ponage is doing is really cool. I checked out their Ergo version last year. They had the original Sim come out this year, and now we have the Sim 2, which is more in line with that Razer Viper and Viper Ultimate sort of look, you know? I mean, a more natural and friendly ambi shape, I think, but again, Great customizability here. Mix and match the shells to match your setup. Uh, if you want solid, you can go that route. And what I did, as you can see, is I just uh, put like a nice sort of coating of this chameleon emerald paint on it. I think it looks really cool. I loved my time using this. 
Number three is always a fun one to reveal, because even though I've had my fair share of drama with Final Mouse in the past, I recognize some W's on their part. This is the Starlight 12. So the big selling point with these new Final Mouse releases are the weight and construction. They use a magnesium shell to cut down the weight into new territories, coming in at 42 grams for the small version and 47 grams for the medium version, which is the one that I've been using. My version did come in at 49 grams on the scale, but still, that is crazy light. And what's insane to me is when you first pick it up, like it feels so light that your first instinct is like, oh, I can just crush this right now in my hand. But you can't, because the magnesium shell itself is sturdy, it's durable. In fact, when I first like got the box, I thought the box was empty. It's that light. They are using their very own final sensor, it's called, with a resolution up to 20,000 CPI. It's rated at 1,000 hertz pulling. The battery life is crazy as well. I used this for around three months on and off. Only charged it three times. They estimate you get around three weeks for the average gamer, uh, but it can stay on and idle for 16 weeks, which is nuts. So these Starlight 12 versions originally came in four different variants. You had silver, gold, black, and red. They're going for this whole Greek god sort of approach, but they did just reveal a blue phantom version. I was hoping to have that in for you guys. And these do retail for 190 bucks, which is bonkers, yes. But like always, they sell out like immediately. It all just builds hype and builds hype and builds hype. You can find them on eBay for like five times the price, but yes. So I've just loved my time using this. Again, 40 grams is just insane. It's crazy when you hold it. And as you can see, this was actually the red and gold version that I had. It's the one that I showed off for you guys, but I've since had it custom painted to be black and this sort of like midnight green splatter, which I think looks a lot better to me. And uh, yes, been loving this and actually, gonna be giving this away on the channel over the next week or so make sure you're subscribed we're gonna have some live streams coming up gonna be giving it away then stay tuned now number two is a brand new mouse literally it came out less than a week ago at this point and that's the new logitech g303 shroud edition feel free to check out my full review but for now let's give you the mini rundown this 74 gram rebuild of the original G303 Daedalus Apex mouse was made entirely in collaboration with Shroud, you know, the streamer, to bring this back since he made the original version so popular. And I've gotta say, I mentioned it in my review, this shape, while polarizing, is perfect for claw or fingertip users. It is slightly larger than the original, only a few millimeters total, but at 74 grams, it does feel like an extension of your arm, since it just naturally fits and is sculpted for the claw grip so perfectly. It's an ambi shape by community terms, but this is literally the definition of ergonomic. The G303 here uses their latest Hero 25K sensor up to 25,600 DPI, has improved pure PTFE feet like we saw on their G Pro X Superlight last year, and battery life is rated at 145 hours. There's no RGB or anything, so at its core, it is just a deadly lightweight option in the right hands. Like I said, I've had it in only for around two, three weeks now at this point this video comes out. This very, very well could be my main for 2022 coming up. I will say though, pricing is a bit steep at 130. Would have loved to have seen this at $100, but again, it's in collaboration with Shroud, so I'm sure he gets a little bit of the cut. But for anyone looking to upgrade and you're a fingertip or claw with your current main, you're gonna be in it for quite the treat with the new Geo3 Shroud Edition. So for number one today, I'm gonna do something I did in yesterday's video for my top five gaming keyboards of 2021. If you missed that, definitely check it out. Before number one spot, we have a tie, because they're, the same release from the same company, just different shapes. From Glorious, we have the Model D minus wireless and the Model O minus wireless. <laughs> Always a mouthful. So first, obviously one of the big selling points to these Glorious mice is the fact that they are so small and light now. And given they're the minus models, that means the shell and body are now smaller than the original O and D releases. Each mouse is available in black or white in the matte finish, and while the Model D is an ergonomic shape, the Model O are ambi. So again, you can pick between whatever fits your preference here, which is why I have them both at the number one spot. So for the O minus wireless, it's advertised as 65 grams, but coming a little lighter at 64 on my scale. Same story with the D minus, that's advertised at 67, but comes in at 66 grams. Both models have an RGB scroll wheel and light strips on each side. And inside they're using their own BAMF sensor up to 19,000 DPI, 
but new this year are the switches they're using inside. They're binned 80 million kales, and they immediately felt more snappy, crisp, and tactile to me over years past. Battery life is the one sort of downside I'll say. It's been iffy. It's rated for 70 hours with no RGB, but if you do have RGB on at pretty much any brightness, it'll drain pretty quickly. Now, each of these mice are only 80 bucks each, which is definitely pretty damn good given the smaller shape and the weight now that we have from Glorious. Again, the original Model O and Model D mice were so, so popular. Now they're wireless, now they're smaller, now they're lighter. Okay, so while that'll round it up for our top five gimme mice of 2021, we do have some honorable mentions. There's three in particular that I still wanted to include as runner-ups. First is gonna be from Endgame Gear. It's the XM1 RGB Dark Frost. And during the summer, I did a video on my favorite mice, which is just my personal favorite, all bias. This was number one for me. It hits that medium to lighter spot at 78 grams, has a really nice ergonomic shape. The dry grip coating here is so unique. Feels really great to hold. You can get it in the Dark Frost version, which is the one that I have, or a Dark Reflex version, which is like a glossy finish. Inside is a Pixar PMW 3389 optical sensor from 50 CPI to 16,000 CPI. It's got KLGM 4.0 switches. They're custom made at up to 60 million clicks. And underneath we have their PTFE glides and it is a wired mouse, which has their wired paracord. I'm just personally a huge fan of this mouse. Again, I don't even care that it's wired, but I know it's not you know, up to the current trends and standards, which is why it's on the honorable mentions list and not the actual top five. But for 70 bucks, I think it's actually price hiked right now, a little bit on Amazon. I just love everything about this Dark Frost variant. Next is the Razer Orochi V2. Coming in at 60 grams, this little egg is certainly on the smaller side and it's very, very popular as like a mobile mouse. But also, given its shape and size, it's like a direct competitor with the Logitech G305. One of the main selling points here are the swappable shells. The top completely pops off. You can buy a ton. They have a ton of custom shells on the website you can design and pick from to really customize the way it looks, which is always cool if you want to fit it into a certain theme or if you have like a favorite esports team. They just have a bunch of shells and designs. And inside it uses their Razer 5G 18,000 sensor with their newer second gen Razer Switch. It's not like their optical switch. But this one is a newer 60 million click version. It does need the AA battery for power, which is gonna obviously add some weight to it, but you could always do the very popular AAA battery mod. And speaking of which, over Bluetooth, you get 900 plus hours of use. And with their hyperspeed wireless connectivity, you get up to 450. Crazy stuff. It's cool, it's tiny, customizable, and it's just $50. And then the last spots on my honorable mentions list for the top five is gonna be the Prime Wireless and the Prime Mini Wireless from SteelSeries. I, for one, loved the Prime Wireless when it released. I gave it a glowing review, used it for about two, three months straight, and then they dropped the Prime Wireless Mini version, which is smaller and lighter. So they're both worthy of being mentioned here. They're a really nice and comfortable ergonomic shape, tipping the scales at 80 grams for the Prime Wireless and 73 grams for the Mini. They both use this brand new magnetic optical switch with SteelSeries' own Prestige OM switch. You have their TrueMove Air sensor up to 18,000 CPI. It's a true one-to-one -one tracking over their Quantum 2.0 wireless technology and battery life is rated at 100 hours. But it has a USB-C quick charge, giving you a 20 hour boost in just 15 minutes. And the reason they're runner-ups is because the Prime Mini is 130 bucks, which I think is way too much. And the Prime has been price slashed from 130 down to 90 recently. But again, given the competition out there and the closely related specs of other mice, they see the runner-up spot today. As I mentioned before, during the summer when I made my favorite list of the year, this was also highly rated, loved it, gave it a great review. I just think it's a little, little bit too pricey, but I for one love the shape. Feels super, super comfortable. And guys, that'll wrap it up for this video on the top five gaming mice of 2021. Hope you all enjoyed. Even though there's more than five, you get the idea. Like I said before, keep an eye on some of these with Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up. Hopefully, you can save some money, uh, have more in your wallet in the end, and also hopefully this can help you build some wishlist ideas for the holidays if you're trying to upgrade from your current gaming mouse. I'll have them all listed for you in the description down below. If you liked this video, you found it helpful, give it a big thumbs up, show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And lastly, don't forget, 
hit that subscribe button. We have a ton of holiday content coming up. You're not gonna wanna miss out. A bunch more top fives. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.